Alright, welcome to Soul Flow TV again everybody, it's your host with the most. It is with great pleasure, great pleasure, that I bring this update. You see that lady that got chopped up in Jamaica along with her 10 year old son? Her friend, one of her friends is living overseas, right? And she tunes into Soul Flow TV. And she just asked me this morning, she said, Soul Flow, I'm waiting for you to do a review on the whole issue with the man who killed my friend and our 10 year old son. I tell her, all right, hold on, I'm gonna check. Boom, bang, bang. I said, last night I put up a video, right? Yesterday I put up a video that said, jungle justice is what's needed in Jamaica because the prior thing now work. You see me? The prior thing now work and law enforcement ain't working to protect the common people. So, here what? We're gonna protect myself, yeah? Now, as I'm getting ready now to go pick up my son from school, this flashes across the headline. The U-20 bull chopped to death in St. Anne. Same place like St. Anne where I chop up the woman and chop up our picnic, chop up two of her kids, you know, and he was trying to chop up the third one. Her daughter ran away and escaped. Her other child, is in a hospital battling for his life and come to find out the whole story behind it is she broke the relationship off a year ago and because she broke off the relationship a year ago this man swore that he would get revenge and this was his revenge to kill the woman and her picnic you know, to chop up the wood chop up you know the woman and her pick and her children. Some of the idiot man is saying, you see how many women are out there? Girl dash way out the road, all them loose girl dash way out the road like San Palm Beach. And a woman says she doesn't want to be with you anymore and your resolve is to chop up, chop her up and her child or children a year after? Nah, nah. See, this jungle justice stuff, I'm all about that. I'm all about that. I don't care. I don't care who wants to call me barbaric. Sometimes you got to go to war. And war is barbaric. Yeah? Me now sit down and pray, 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 pray. And now do no action. And some of these people need to realize that there are dire consequences for their actions. It's because enough of them are going with no foolishness and nothing now reach them. Understand? No one's doing nothing to them. So, they feel like they can get away with ridiculous things like these. You just kill somebody like that. The girl, what, 32? 32 years old. Prime of her life. And you take her away from earth. Her 10-year-old son, what did he do to you? And you kill the little boy. No man. Jungle justice. Yeah? That me sir. And I implore every Jamaican out there. I only feel sorry for the Jamaicans that are too elderly to take part and protect themselves in this manner. And like I said before, I don't care who won't call me barbaric. It's okay, I'll wear I'll wear that. I'll wear that badge. Proudly. Someone said on SoFlo TV today, SoFlo, I'm confused. You always telling people how dangerous Jamaica is, but you are tell people to go to Jamaica and make sure that they're set up and they're fine there. I'm not. I'm never going back to Jamaica. That's what the person said, right? Well, in light of all that's going on in the U.S., anybody that's been tuning into SoFlo TV for a while knows. That although I tell you that stuff's going on in Jamaica, I always tell you that nobody is going to run me out of that. Because my neighbor Trinkot Dessa, my inheritance is there. You dig? So me not run away and throw a stone behind me and talk about foreign better. That's why I encourage everybody that's that wasn't born here, go home. Make a trip every now and then, even. Find something to invest in. Build up a little thing.
so you're fine. Because any country you go live in, this man just almost ran into my back. <laughs> oh man. Any country you go live in, they can fling you out of it here and send you go back to Jamaica. So, just know, sir, Jamaica is your home. And all when things bad there, see that? Man, right, that's almost running on my back. All when things are bad, bad, bad in Jamaica, you make sure you take your behind back there and go fix up a little thing for yourself. Yeah? Listen. The people are tired of it, man. The people are tired of it. The people are tired of being victimized, tired of being abused, tired of being molested. This is the Jamaica I know. I currently where I come from. Enough people know me. People know I say, yo, are you that my youth? Are you me? I'm so flow now. Yeah, man. But people can vouch for me when I tell you this. My place where me come from, you not rip and rob nobody around the sun, just walk around like it's all okay. Especially them people who are rip off like a girl picnic and rip off woman. What? And murdering women and murdering children and walk free in the community? No. No. Jungle justice feel. Yeah? You need to be dealt with in that manner. And you see him chop up the woman and him get chopped up. So they said he was found. And remember, the police gave him a time to turn himself in. Yeah? People saw him running away from the scene. And the police gave him a time to turn himself in. He didn't turn himself in. But they found him in a one yard with multiple chop wounds all over his body. So that means they chopped that up good. Chopped it up everywhere. So for those of you who are looking for an update as to what happened to the individual that did it, did they catch him or whatever? Yes, them catch him and them chop him up. And that's the end of that. Jungle justice was set. It's SoFlo TV, man. Stay tuned. More videos will be coming throughout the day. All right? Bless up on yourself. I'm out. Peace.